Hey guys, my name is Alex Albors. We are here at Horizon Hobby World, um, coming to you from the Spectrum um, Facebook page. And we're live. Um, I ha have here Tom Coswell. Hello. And Hi, today everybody. we have a pretty cool announcement this morning. Yeah, you guys uh, have probably been hearing all about our Spectrum yeah, we Smart have, ESCs. We have done quite a few uh, posts now, and, and we're just going to take a few minutes yep. to kind of walk through to you what do we have here, what Smart is, what Smart ESC is, yeah. and what they do for you. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure a lot of people are like, well, well what's smart about a Smart ESC? Okay. Right? It's just another ESC, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. Not anymore. Well, not at all. Um, so a smart ESC is an ESC that replaces a whole bunch of sensors that you used to have to buy to monitor voltage right. and current and temperature and RPM, a multitude of things like that. And then you would have to have a telemetry receiver or some sort of module that plug into to all those little sensors. It's very complicated. Yeah. It's, it's almost $150 worth of little tiny gadgets and gizmos that you would have to solder up and attach and put in your model. Right. Now your smart ESC does all that for you. It takes your voltage from your smart batteries or your dumb batteries, okay. as I like to affectionately call them, yeah. uh, and transmits them straight through the signal wire. And we got a, one set up here, all through the okay. signal wire. So we got this guy set up. All that telemetry data is coming in through one lead. So you don't need you know, mm -hmm. 10 different sensors, modules. Right. Just one wire. That's just impressive. One wire. Very impressive. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, and that's thanks to some new technology that we have built into our new receivers. Okay. So this one is the latest AVC receiver the SR6100 AT, A for one, yeah. okay. AVC and okay. T for telemetry. So okay. this is the surface one. Right. And then our newer receivers from Spectrum, the AR637T and the AR6100 or 6610T. Right. So many numbers. So many numbers. <laughs> um, but also some of our older receivers do support it. Not all of them, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, it is newer hardware. So right. older hardware may not support it. So the uh, the on the surface side, which receivers are supported? Just the numbers. Like the 215, ah, 315, yes. 415. So there's an, an SR215, yep. 315, and 515. A right. two-channel, a three-channel, and a five-channel. And those are compatible, but you require an update. There is an update. Right. Yep. yep. That update is live, and it's easy to do. You just use our Spectrum updater. Uh, cable, the SPM3065 or SPMA3065, right. and you update your receiver using a PC. And Simple that's ready as that. to go. And same with the transmitters, right? Now we have the same um, challenge with the transmitter you have to update. So which transmitters are compatible and which ones are not So all the ones you see on this table here, including the, uh, well, we got the DX5C, the DX5 Pro, but also the DX5R, so the older version of the Pro, the DX5 Rugged. Uh, we have an iX12, so these guys you just update over Wi-Fi, right. and it's ready to go. And then the DX6 and DX8, we just have an 8 to kind of represent the Gen 2 radios. But that really uh, counts for almost any of our more recent um, black and white or dot matrix screened radios. Right. So that's like. So what are some of the sizes that we have? I know we, I see a couple of them laying around here. I, what I tried to get everything here. Okay, let's go. So uh, we'll have Kyle kind of. Zoom in on these. So we, on this can. side, we've got all of our Avian ESCs. So we got a, a, a 15, 30, 45, 60, 80, and 100. I right. Think. I got it right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, so going, going from top to bottom, or bottom to top, um, we've got all those. Uh, they all transmit the, the smart battery data, uh, uh, except for the 15. The 15 is a little small hardware-wise, but it does everything else. Okay. So you get RPM and temperature from the, from the ESC on that one. Now, on the surface side, we also have, I think we have three of them. We, we have do. a 130, 150, and 160 amp. Yep. Um, so like you were, you were saying, we have the 130, the 150, and the 160. The 160 is the only one that supports 8S. So this is kind of your speed machine monster right here. Right. And we've got it set up for 8S right here. And let's go okay. ahead and just do a little demo here. OK, let's go for it. So we're going to turn on our 5R, our 5 Pro. And I'll turn on our ESC. And once it connects, you'll see on the screen here, it'll actually say smart at the top of the radio. I'll go ahead and zoom in on that. So it says smart right there on the screen. And then if we scroll through, we've got the main smart screen. So it shows our battery voltage. And that's the voltage of both batteries since we're running 8S. Okay. It shows the FET temperature, which is the actual temperature of the ESC. 
And then we've got motor current, that's the 0.0, .0 but if I start throttling up, let's do that, see that moving. I think I've got my RPM ratio off a little bit, so that's one thing that you have to set is the pole count of your pole motor. Yep. It's probably set on like two pole and it's a four pole or something like that. And then if we scroll through, we've got battery info. And you'll see we'll have a bunch of different uh, things that you can recognize here. We've got 5,000 milliamp. That's cool because it actually tells you how big your pack is because it is okay. reading battery data from your, right. from your, your and smart that, battery. And that starts with a microchip that is inside each battery, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So you, your, all your battery data from your smart battery is going to go through your ESC to your receiver and then back to your radio. So that we That's can kind awesome. of even show that more. We can get uh, milliamps consumed and things like that. Ah, here's another screen. So this is pack one. Okay. This is really cool stuff. This is I get a kick out of this one because you can see what each pack. So that's pack two oh, and pack, pack one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So both of my two batteries here making eight S, two four cells making eight S. You can look at which one is low, which one's high, what the cell balance is of each one, and you might be able to see at the very bottom how many cycles. I've been on that pack. So basically all the data that you see, kind of the, all the data you see on the charger when you're charging these on a smart charger, you see on your screen. A lot of it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That's pretty cool. So I think that's now, one question that, it, I mean, that, that I've seen all the time is that, so for the ESCs, can, if let's say a customer doesn't have any of the smart equipment yet, mm -hmm. can they still run the ESC as a normal ESC on their vehicles, or do they have to have smart batteries, do they have to have smart receivers? Or that, that's one great thing about this, is right. that it's an excellent ESC that works with any legacy, right. as I like to call it, okay. uh, transmitter or receiver. It doesn't have to be a spectrum receiver. If you okay. just want a, a good ESC for your brand X, right. there you go. You got it, okay. So awesome. it works with anything, but if you want to get all the smart data, you're gonna have a smart battery, and a smart compatible receiver. Now, you don't have to have a smart battery if you just want the ESC data. Okay. So just reiterate that. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that made sense to you guys. Yep. Again, if you guys have questions, go ahead and message us, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you.